Hey, hi, hello, welcome back to my new video. This is Sampati watching Sampath Samfix YouTube channel and this is Poco X3 custom ROM reviews. This is an Arrow OS based on Android 13 for Poco X3. As of now, it's not official yet. There are a lot more versions of it, but it's still named as 13.0 and a lot more versions of update soon coming and it recognized as Karna, you can see here and the JAPS variant TTC we also have available and Android security patches just November 5th 2022 and build date you can see here on December 14 which is the latest build available for POCO X3 slash NFC and you can also see the kernel layers 4.14.30 one lineage OS kernel has been used here this is the version of this and flashing method is as simple as the previous video you can check out just instead of evolution x 7.4 just flash this arrow is everything is similar in flashing and you can see here the cpu throttling test the maximum score is 191 and average is 183 and minimum is 170 million jps this was for 100 thread test around 10 minutes and 12 seconds and 2 milliseconds you can see the graph is very fine just we get a little bit peaks in the above section i hope you guys see it out it means there is a little bit of throttling going on but overall it's a very good performance you can achieve you can see 94 percent of its max performance someone who are looking for this kind of options then they can look it out and this is how the home screen and app drawer looks like nothing new here in terms of android 13 and anything here just the this one is moved down here now the settings and power button has been moved a little bit lower here and automatic brightness sensor is also working fine no problem regarding that and smoothness in the UI is similar to any ROS you have used previously it's as simple as it is you can see this is a quick settings panel here it's also working fine no problem regarding that now moving into some of the benchmark results starting with the geek bench scores you can see on the screen and you can also judge the app opening time the single score is 544 and multi score is 1541 and kernel as i said before it is 4.14.301 lineages linux kernel has been used in this particular rom and you can also see the app opening time of android benchmark result app it took a little bit of time but the scores are very good 3 lakh 61 and temperature raise was just 0 0.9 degrees celsius and battery drop is 3 percentage during this entire testing of this android benchmark result on this arrow 13 of december 14th build and safety net status you can see it will get passed hope so yeah you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you want to use you can use and maps location every toggles flashlight everything is working fine no problem regarding that in the edit section there are some more options if you want you can drag them and add here sync option is also available that's not the case in and arrow install and some other versions but it is there sync option is present here if you want you can enable or disable from here now coming to drm information and get level one certification such that you can watch all the ott application in high definition resolution that's also possible with this arrow is 13 and coming into speed test like i have here 100 mbps geo key sorry fiber connection and it's pulling up to 80 to 90 mbps you can see here sometimes even better also it depends upon your network and mobile internet connection is also very good in this particular room there is a carrier aggregation support also no problem regarding that earpiece is also fine someone who's asking for bluetooth i why do we need bluetooth for this particular phones people are looking for wired earphones for a uh, no headphone jack smartphone but you people are looking for a bluetooth earphones when you have a proper flagship feature called headphone jack use the wired earphones guys it's very convenient and very good low latency not about low latency you can't even speak about low latency or latency because wired earphones are much stable and much better in terms of music quality and everything stability everything use that people are asking about bluetooth earphones in the particular room i really don't like it i don't know why let me know in the comment section who is asking that let's other will uh, answer you if you are anyone are using i personally don't like using bluetooth earphones or speaker or anything like that i personally go with wired ones which is very convenient and very easy and even very beautiful output you can get from that and coming here gallery application you get this kind of gallery application 
you get basic options here if you want you can use any third party galleries which are present from play store and camera application this is arnav build gcam here this is the version i always use i will be coming to instagram very soon i just uninstalled it right now i can install it some of them were asking it seems i don't know in instagram i again come back and will share the you can put and this is a camera application principle just don't use that go to that camera application select here app information and select more it's there is option disable that and use this as a default a camera that's how it is this is the arrows settings let's move into settings this is the basic settings you get no customization nothing here main thing we need to speak in the arrow is, is the battery life as you can see the battery life is not great as we see in the arrow s12 or 11 hopes that it needs some more time to enhance it but uh, anyhow this is also a very good battery uh, efficient rom we can say here not a battery efficient rom as we seen in the spark os or anything like but still it's very simple simple ui here and display settings you get basic settings here i kept maximum refresh rate to 120 now and minimum to 30 adaptive refresh rate is properly working here and colors also you can choose boost shade or anything like that this is the display settings you get there is no dark mode i'm in the pitch black condition let's check out yeah there is option of pure black here that's nice they have included that hence you can use this in dark mode which is pitch black condition as you see on the screen this is how it looks and the response of the ui is very very smooth you can see this all the recent apps it's also very smooth you can kill the apps from here directly and you can take the screenshot this are the arrows and wallpaper and style you get all the basic options basic colors are also given if you want to use themed icons it's also present in this particular rom and now let's move into pubg mobile what are the graphic settings we get and how it handle let's check out one thing i really like in this game is the pubg mobile what happened is after a certain update it's become little bit smoother and graphic settings in this arrow s13 you get just smooth plus ultra nothing more here you get just hd and high there is no option to increase ifs in the games but the game is little bit smoother after this latest upgrade of pubg mobile i tried in multiple smartphones and even multiple roms the game is little bit improved compared to previous version of the game uh, but how it handles actually i will show you here and if you're first time to this channel hit that subscribe button down below guys and also allow the bell notification by pressing that bell icon guys because whenever i upload a new video you get notified and if you like the video give it a like you can see here this is the gameplay I want to show. Let's jump into boot camp and see. You can see Arrow is 13 official version. Many are waiting because it's a very good battery life ROM. I can say it stands out in number one position in terms of battery life and battery efficiency. Charging speeds also I will show you within a while. Just wait a while. Just let's see how it handles in the boot camp and later i will show you the channel according to 40 fps it's fine but if you know how to increase high fps even in the arrow s also you can try it out but most of them do those who want to use this arrows they are always simple users like they don't need any customizations and they want to play casual games like that then they can use and they want to get a more battery life then they use this particular rom i hope so i don't know if someone uses for gaming let me know in the comment section and you can see there are little bit of frame skipping here i mean frames drop that's quite natural but the game is little bit smoother after this latest update if you are guys also noticing that let me know in the comment section is bot actually i am in low level guys that means i would get real enemies if there is one more bot oh so no enemies around here but the gameplay is fine yes absolutely you can't decide uh, overall gameplay in this particular room but i can say it's a very good rom for casual gaming for 40 fps don't expect it to be any gaming rom or anything like that with 90 fps it could be 
better and uh, that's all guys this gameplay i will come back here show you the charging animation here i'll turn on let's see charging slowly yeah charging rapidly it supports 33 watt charging in this particular arm that's good sign and let me show you the fingerprint unlock here as you can see it's also getting unlocked it's not the quick or anything like that but still it's usable in my opinion there is no face unlock or anything like that even there is no app locker here in this particular rom and some of the other settings like sound and vibration you get all the basic settings here me sound enhancer direct sound settings are given here enable hi-fi audio system is available headphone type and preset type and also scene selection is also given in this particular rom that's fine in my opinion and accessibility setting this is very important in order to use the handy features like these things without actually using the physical buttons and without toggling this notification bar from above you can directly switch here and access your volume up and down brightness uh, up and down from here that's how it is let me increase it okay the automatic brightness sensor everything is fine just it should be official then everyone will jump to flash this particular room as of now you can stay on and uh, sorry arrow is 12.1 if you want to try it out you can definitely try it out this is very good stable rom available for this poco x and this is my review on this arrow s 13 based on android 13 with latest security not the latest this is number security best, but latest build available for poco x3 slash nfc will meet you with another interesting video until that keep smiling bye bye for now